The streaming wars are upon us once again, ladies and gentlemen. In terms of hours watched, Facebook Gaming has officially eclipsed YouTube and taken the number two spot behind Twitch for Q3 2021. So what we're going to do is take a look at these numbers and then break down why Facebook managed to snatch that second place from YouTube and whether or not YouTube can make some changes to get their spot back. Based on the live streaming industry report released by Streamlabs earlier this week, Facebook gaming viewers watched 1.29 billion hours of content on the platform between August and September, a 9.2% increase from Q2. Both Twitch and YouTube, on the flip side, saw a drop. I'll start with the red platform. 1.294 billion hours in Q2 slid to 1.13 billion hours in Q3, continuing a steady decline since its high point towards the end of last year. Needless to say, this is kind of a big deal for the simple fact that this has never happened before. YouTube has always held on to that number two spot. It's made even more surprising considering the moves that the Google-owned platform made at the end of the summer, securing Tim the Tatman and Dr. Lupo to exclusive contracts to leave Twitch and assist in YouTube's growth. This is not to discount Tim and Lupo, however. They were only brought over towards the end of the quarter, and they did bring a sizable audience along with them, but this is still noteworthy for YouTube in general. Indeed, YouTube was, and still is, depending on who you ask, building itself to be a viable contender to eventually strike at Twitch, who still dominates the streaming landscape. With 5.79 billion hours watched in Q3, 70.5% of the total according to the report, but it should be noted that that is also with an 11% decrease from the viewership numbers from Q2. Twitch has also experienced the biggest decrease in its history in terms of hours streamed, down 15.9% from the peak this past Q1. This could partly be due to some growing resentment towards Twitch itself, frustration against the management of the platform, particularly the lack of effective action against trends such as hate raids, led to the hashtag a day off Twitch movement, to mention one result. Now, while Twitch's numbers overall are still up when looking at a year-to-year -year basis, this sharp decline, alongside Facebook being the only one of the big three platforms to experience growth rather than a drop in the past three months, one can imagine that this isn't exactly good news for the purple platform. Facebook gaming was generally looked upon as a sort of punchline during the great Twitch mixer war of 2020, but this growth over the past year can be attributed to several factors. Bear with me a minute. The most obvious reason for the Twitch and YouTube viewer decline is the fact that Q3 2021 was the first time that many people began working outside of their homes again, almost free of the lockdowns that defined last year. Young viewers are also back in school. Less time at home means less time to watch video game streaming. Less time to stream on your own channel as well. Now, yeah, you might not be at home, but mobile apps are always with you. Whether someone's at work, school, or anywhere in between, they still scroll on their phones. If someone tells me they don't, I'd bet they're lying to me. Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook all have dedicated mobile apps, and Facebook is the clear leader on that front, though YouTube is a close second. Anyway, unlike the apps for the other two, Facebook gaming also has features like autoplay. Those few seconds you spend watching the video as you're scrolling up and down your timeline counts towards the view time. A dirty trick? Maybe but it works. On that note, Streamlabs also attributes Facebook's consistent growth this year to both its international popularity and its consistent improvement of the platform's functionality, co-streaming not the least of them. A feature that is still only available to certain tiers of users on Twitch. Facebook Gaming also has a way for creators to play copyrighted music, which remains a persistent issue for users on both Twitch and YouTube. Despite Facebook experiencing similar decreases as both YouTube and Twitch in terms of both hours streamed and unique channels, Facebook has experienced consistent, continued growth in hours watched and concurrent viewers for an entire year now. How crazy is it that a year ago, Facebook gaming literally couldn't pay streamers to join the platform after Mixer folded? I'm not joking. Facebook offered certain former Mixer streamers money to jump over and nearly all of them just went back to Twitch anyway. They're still offering salaries to streamers, however, and this could be a reason for the platform's international popularity. Now, this is not to say that YouTube has just been sitting on its hands this entire time, however. Several creators for the Red platform, such as Courage, have routinely voiced suggestions of how to improve the experience on the platform. Things like the ability to make clips, 
polls, and subscriber-only chat to name a few, were features that had been introduced to the platform in the past year. Dr. Disrespect, in his own outspoken way, famously talked about what he wanted to see when he said this. That's one of the things that YouTube's gonna have to figure out is like, yeah, they got their VODs, they got their, their formula, but they're gonna have to figure out a way to, to create a community environment around live streaming and real-time interaction, because that is non-existent. And there have been substantial changes to YouTube gaming in the past year alone, many of them stemming from such user suggestions. Courage also expressed optimism about the evolution of the platform, and all of this is largely credited to the hard work of Fwiz, the head of YouTube gaming. It's very likely that this drop in attention, whether temporary or not, will cause YouTube, and Fwiz specifically, to redouble their efforts in improving the streaming section of the platform. People have been asking for gifted subs for a while, for example. How can one forget this tweet from Fwiz? Then a few weeks later, Valkyrie voiced that YouTube was working on more features, gifted members not the least of them. We don't have a, pri a sort of prime yet, TM, okay? I'm YouTube is working on gifted members and some sort of prime that's not a prime. Free? It's not free. The... Bro. Wait, is it free? And in a wonderful example of Ask and You Shall Receive, Fwiz announced on the morning of October 29th that gifted memberships would be rolled out to the Red Platform in 2022. Either way, the old saying goes that competition is good for everybody. We all do better when we all do better is another saying that I feel is especially relevant. Now, yes, Facebook and YouTube are still decidedly vying for second place against the force of nature that is Twitch. But people don't usually notice a snowball rolling down a mountain until it's already grown exponentially in size. Will this be an outlier in Twitch's continued supremacy? Or do you think this could be the beginning of a new trend? Let me know what you think down below. And until next time, be safe and be good to each other. Oh,